Ouch. Sorry, I, I didn't. Oh, I don't. I don't feel very well. I have an anxiety issue, which is why I don't want to have these conversations with these people because afterwards it just turns into a whole, uh, whole shit show where they start to uh, get personal, don't abide by their uh, conditions, and I just. This is not meant to be a debate. This is not a debate. Yeah. Now, this is not meant to be a debate. We're not having a debate. The debate, a debate is not the point. I explained, I explained how it supports my point. Let me finish the argument. You are throwing in so many things. It is ridiculous. I can't go through, going with this, with this bull crap anymore. Let's keep, <laughs> it, let's keep it brief. You are not making a point by bringing up lengthy uh, references to some papers that no one will then, be able to look up. I try to justify my points. I try to bring evidence for my points. Unlike you, I don't just hand wave and say, oh, it doesn't make sense. I actually bring evidence and step-by-step -step argumentation. That's the difference between the way I argue and the way that you, you rant. And you're complaining about I'm bringing in too much data and evidence. Like, that's a complaint. Both agree that... Punishments have to exist. They're a necessary evil. No, I don't think so. I then where, think so. where are we going to put the rapists? Corrective behavior. Muslim immigrant rapists, where are you going to put them? Corrective behavior. Where? Co they don't co want correct, correct, behavior. correct them. Corrective facilities. We, we, to, we, we should. We, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think that a Muslim who is caught raping somebody should be lashed 100 times. That is big, bigger and bigger than the crime that has been committed. And you don't let me explain fully. You, you interrupt me in the middle of the argument. How's that you fair? Inter you interrupt me all the time, Daniel. I could just mute you here. I don't do that. Ten seconds later. Going okay, did like... a whole propaganda of... of no, of, of it's not propaganda. These peer-reviewed research is propaganda? I will mute you for a second. I'm sorry. Well, you're presenting a study. I have muted you. Two hours later. You're, you're, not, you're not finishing arguments. You're building. A <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not finishing because you interrupt and then you mute me. Look, okay. it's let me this simplify. Is, it. Let me simplify the, the argument. I'll make it. I'll summarize it. I'll summarize it for you. Look, I'll, I'll summarize it very close. Come on. This is the one single time. Uh, he muted me. By the way, Daniel Hikikachu has done this for for he five, muted six me, times. So. This is the one single time you're muted. By the way, no Yeah, I know. This My audience can hear me. This is the one single time that I will actually appeal yeah. to the audience and See, say, he can't to really, audience, he can't really deal with evidence. Decide for yourself. I'm not muted with my audience, so I can keep talking. Natural thing. If you just want to argue that uh, that because. I completely agree that slavery is an essential part of human history. For example, you would you would you would think that uh, that I will come with one of these these typical uh, imbecile objections and will think, oh, slavery is evil. How how dare people ens enslave people in history? How dare the Confederates do this and Muhammad do this and do that? No, I don't I don't think like that at all. I I think that slavery is completely historically logically justified. <laughs> But modern Muslim apologetics get so pathetic that they try to downplay the seriousness of Islamic slavery. They explain how different conditions were there. Islamic slavery was different. Slaves were treated well, but they can just shut up right away. A slave is a slave, an inferior, a tool, an object. There is no justification, no excuse to this at all. You would think that uh, that I will come with one of these these typical uh, imbecile objections and will think, oh, slavery is evil. Just shut up. I think that slavery is completely historically logically justified. A slave is a slave. There is no justification, no excuse to this at all. <laughs> I lived in Muslim countries, I lived in Muslim cultures. We all know what Muslim cultures look like. These people become uh, extremely uh, impatient when it comes to sexuality. These people uh, resort to things like talking about sex with animals, for example, which is a, uh, a commonly known, very common talk in Muslim culture, where you can talk about having sex with a donkey, or having sex with a camel, or having sex with a cow. With a cow. <laughs> nutty, nutty, nutty. <laughs> And you find them all, uh, online on, on, on forums asking for help because they cannot control their desires. <laughs> Wondering why they can just not stop masturbating and why they just why, why they want to jump on every woman. My God. <laughs>
don't know what sick games you guys are playing. <laughs> I come from a Muslim culture, and I have to, I have to even argue and admit at this point that I am definitely much more intolerant to the desire to, uh, to, to look at women and to view them sexually. You guys, your imagination is rather nutty, nutty. <laughs> These games you play on uh, these games. When when I see a woman, I get this uh, this almost natural thing, which is not natural, but which comes from uh, from my environment because I grew up as a Muslim with the Muslim ideal th that when I see a woman, I think of sex. <laughs> natty natty, you sickle. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I,